Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask DLC. <clears throat> now, uh, took a little bit of a break in between. Um, it was the weekend, I had my girlfriend come over. Nice romantic weekend in bed, you know. Not in that way. And, uh, yep, oh, here we go. I kind of feel like I've been, um, dragging the series out a little bit. So, I want to see if I can finish this up in this episode. <clears throat> What's wrong, Ogre Pond? I bet it doesn't want to go into the village. The villagers did a pretty good job of chasing it away back then, so... Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, maybe Ogre Pond can wait for us here. We can go gather information while it waits. Do, do you think it'll be okay? Pay attention now, Ogre Pond. We go in village. You stay here. Ogre Pond, stay. Do you understand? <laughs> Paul? I'm gonna take that as a no. <clears throat> God, it, it looks so much like a little kid in an oversized hoodie. I love it. It's so freaking cute. Pony! Looks like it understood that. What's wrong with what I said? Alright. So what do we gotta do? Gather info about the loyal three. We need to gather every scrap of info we can to get any... We can get about any sightings of the lousy three. Let's meet up once we're done. Okay. Okie doggy. I got to see Okie doggy. The real one wasn't as green as the Okie doggy masks, though. Is it Okie doggy or Okie doggy? Because I, I know it's supposed to be a play on Okie dokie. So it might be Okie doggy because it's a dog. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I guess we got to look for the yellow bubbles. I saw Fezzendipity zoom through the sky over Oni Mountain. It was so much cooler than the stories say. You got a clue about the Loyal Three where's about whereabouts. So I guess I need to find two more. Oh, here we go, Monkey Dory. <clears throat> I thought someone had collapsed, so I went to check on them, but it was just Monkey Dory taking a nap. It can be so peaceful around that pond out there. What an ideal place for a snooze. Got a second clue. Okay, so we got Pheasantipity and Monkey Dory. Now for Okie Dogie. Okie Doggy. I'm gonna say Okie Dogie, because that just sounds better to me. Okay. We're pretty much the most lovey-dovey couple ever, don't you think? You bet. There's probably not a pair on the planet as perfect together as you and me. Right. Hey, you. We were wondering if there are any Pokemon that are lovey-dovey like the two of us. If you manage to find any, bring them here. Oh, I'm sure you'll find one. When Lechonk fly. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, there are flying Lechonk. Haha, <laughs> it was a mystery gift event. Have you seen Okie Doggy of the Loyal Three? That purple scarf it wears is so lovely. I saw it wandering around in the Barrens. You got clues to all of the Loyal Three's whereabouts. Time to compare notes. Alright. I'm gonna say Okie Doggy because to me that just fits better. Or it sounds better when I... You know, because mentally everyone pronounces something differently. It just sounds better to them mentally in their head. So I'm just gonna keep saying Okie Doggy. We're back, Ogre Pond. All right, let's combine the info we've gathered. You go first, Kiki. Okay, well, here's what I heard. Hmm, I see. Interesting. Thanks to the information you two brought, I think we know exactly where each of those lousy three is hiding. What did you learn, Carmen? Look, I'm the leader here. Mundane work like gathering info just doesn't suit me. Besides, I tried talking to a few people here and there, but all I got, uh, but they got all nervous and stuff. 
I'm just too pretty for my own good. I'll record everything we found about those three on your Rotom phone, Zack. That way we won't forget any of it. Oh, well, she has a phone. Why doesn't Kieran have a phone if she has a phone? Sounds like sibling favoritism to me. The whereabouts of Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Fezzendipity have been added to your map app. Map app. Now then, let's go retrieve those masks. We can do this! Yay! I'm... I'm not going. What? You're part of the team! You need to come along! As long as Zack's around, I'm sure Ogre Pond will feel safe. Besides, I got things to do. Sorry! Huh. I wonder if he's still upset. Oh well, I can't force him to tag along. Let's just take care of this ourselves. You can decide where we head first. Let's get all of Ogre Pond's masks back, alright? <laughs> so cute. Uh. Oh yeah, I never did check what uh, typing Monkey Dory was. Uh, Poison Psychic. Okay. I thought it was dark. It looks like a dark type. I thought it was like dark poison or something. Or dark psychic. Whatever. Also, apparently, if you have a shiny Ursa Luna uh, in your boxes, you can see uh, what shiny Blood Moon looks like. Which, I guess is okay. It's more vibrant. I, I prefer... I prefer this one. Um, orange just is not one of my favorite colors. So, I just... I, I prefer the regular. Um, I did go out in between episodes. I did uh, do some raids, caught some Pokemon. Um, I found where Feebas spawn in this game. And uh, I just ran around the map a few times. Just wanted to complete the decks a little bit. Alright, so... Uh, where are we going? We are going this way, okay. Set as destination. Um, may save us some time if we just fly here, then move. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it sure is quiet. I got <laughs> I don't really have anything to say. Well, I don't know. If I I guess if I want to touch on like the orange orange isn't my favorite color thing. I I really don't like it that much as a color. Sometimes it looks fine, but like the school uniforms for Scarlet are absolutely absolutely abhorrent and I cannot stand them. Um I prefer Scarlet over Violet as a game because I like uh, Koridon over Miraidon, and I like the uh, I like the past Paradox Pokemon better. But the school uniforms look so much better on on Violet. Also, this guy is freaking huge now. So wait, he's Poison Psychic. So Ursa Luna and Mamoswine are gonna have a field day against them. So that's cool. I'm gonna beat the heckles out of them. Ah, it's the cocky looking one. The huge head must mean it's Monkey Dory. <clears throat> Jeez. Uh, sorry about that. Hey, I may be wrong about this, but has it gotten bigger since we last saw it? Hmm? Time for us to put this one in its place, Zack. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, we got Mamoswine. And she's got Mora Peko. Okay. Mmm, kya! <laughs> Special defense rose. <clears throat> the, the Titanic Monkey Dory. <clears throat> Jeez. 
Thought I blew my nose this morning, but I guess I didn't get all of it. Wonder if it'll go all red in the face if we give it a good trouncing. Time to find out. Oh, you sludge wave. Oh, God. Yeah, nearly one shot that more Peko. Oh, I, I used Earthquake, didn't I? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. Oh, that didn't do a, that didn't that didn't do a lot. And I just wasted more Peko. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Yes, excellent move. Keep up the pressure. You took out my Pokemon. What an excellent move. Sinistra. Oh, nice. Um, okay, so it's paralyzed. <clears throat> I can terastalize and go poison type. So that'll stop me from getting poisoned. So, let's do that. Okay, that one did uh, a decent chunk. Hehe, <laughs> someone's got a weakness. We can just keep using that move till it faints then. Nasty plot. Uh oh. Uh, oh boy. I did not think that through. <laughs> it was a crit. <laughs> Sorry, Mammoth Swine. Uh, well, it had Sludge Wave. I forgot it had Psychic. It had Sludge Wave, so I didn't want to get poisoned. Um. Well, it's got a special defense boost. <sighs> so, I don't... I don't know how much Earth Power is going to do against it. We're going to go into Arcanine. <clears throat> Arcanine resists poison and is neutral to Psychic, so... Okay. Decent damage. Foul play. Alright. Monkey Dory fainted. I know there's foul play and there's stuff like, uh, was it power trip and stored power and stuff? Is there anything that does the same thing as foul play but for special attack? Because if so, that'd be great. <laughs> That's what you get! Hey, look, it dropped a mask! Pong! <laughs> we did it, we got the first mask back. Alright. Wellspring mask retrieved. Uh, take a little snapshot of that, because that's cute. Ponyo! <laughs> he sure is happy. <clears throat> you know, I felt this way at the Crystal Pool, too. But we make a good team, don't we? Two masks left. Let's take the rest of the Loyal Three down. Yeah. Take them down. Take them down to the ground. Um... So, okie dokie. Yeah, okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I did find a, uh, a shiny when I was running around, too. Um, it was a Spinarak, so... Not a great Pokemon, but... <clears throat> the shiny looks good. It's, uh... Make sure you open my box. Where is it? Um, right there. 
Yep, there she is. See, so yeah, I'm not a great Pokemon. I like the way the blue looks, though. That's a very nice blue they used. And I do like Ariados. Ariados is uh, my favorite quote unquote useless bug type Pokemon. Oh, he's glitching out. Never mind. It's back to normal. <laughs> Alright. So is this one a dark type? Looks like looks like dark grass. It, there's it's got a bunch of green. I don't know if it's a grass type. Uh this one's gotten bigger too, huh? <laughs> Grrr. Come on, Zach, it's time to cut this Pokemon down to size. Didn't you No you didn't say that last time, okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Man, it's early in the morning. Defense rose sharply. Okay. No, I don't know. Like, I... Scarf's way too stylish for the likes of you. I'm going to teach you to sit the hard way. Good one. Okay, it is not grass type. Oh, just stop. <clears throat> Have the last attack. Alright. Close combat. <clears throat> so what is it? Fighting type? I don't know anymore. Okay. The last one looked like it was a dark type, but it wasn't. This one looks like it's a grass type, but it ap apparently isn't. Toxic Chain? What the heck is Toxic Chain? And Mighty Enna. Oh my god. You just saw it use close combat. So if it's a fighting type, then you're screwed. You just sent out another dark type. Um. Jeez, I have quite a few <laughs> fighting weaknesses. I did, just realized. Um. But it has toxic chain, and it used a fighting type move. Is it? Poison fighting? Are they all poison type? Jeez, you suck. Like, come on. I thought your Blueberry Academy was supposed to be about, like, good trainers or whatever. They were here sending out crap like that. <clears throat> Alright. So if it's poison fighting type, then... Matcha Gotch is not going to be very effective. Um, I don't want to Terrasilize because then I'll lose my Ghost Typing. Um, is Ghost neutral to Poison? I don't remember <clears throat> if Ghost is neutral or not. Oh, I went for the Scald thinking we can get the burn. I forgot it was paralyzed. Ugh. Okie doggy couldn't move. Okay. I don't have any psychic type moves. If I had a psychic type move, this guy would be like one shot. Because he's a poison fighting. Has crunch. Okay. Four coverage. <coughs> He is also going exclusively for Carmen, so... If he can keep doing that, that'd be great. Oh, he had a berry? Leechy berry? No, not me! Oh, God! <clears throat> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Thank you, but I'm a special attacker. Hmm. Appreciate it though, Ogre Pon. You're adorable. <coughs> Jeez, I am so sorry about that. Like, like I said, I blew my nose out this morning because I had, uh, I had a stuffy nose. I thought I got it, but I guess I'm just draining into the back of my own throat. <coughs> you never stood a chance. Hey, look, it dropped a mask too, just like the last Pokemon. Gee. I wonder if that's going to be what happens next time. That makes two masks back where they belong. Yay! Cornerstone mask retrieved. She's so cute. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we did it, Ogre Pond. No opponent's going to give us any trouble so long as we're, we are a team. God. Kiki really should have came with us. Well, one more mask remaining. Let's do this loyal one a loyal nun. Boo. Boo, Carmen. Boo. Sorry, got a... <clears throat> got a... Got a text I gotta answer. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so Oni Mountain. Oh, it's over... Okay, it's around Yaw. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we gotta fly to the Crystal Pool. <clears throat> Jesus, I'm sorry. Also, yes, I noticed that the uh, flying taxis... <clears throat> Jeez. ...are being lifted by... Uh, ...Nack Dowls. Instead of, uh, <clears throat> squawkabillies. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yippee pippy. Wait, we got a I want to double check. Poison fighting and poison psychic. Okay. So, poison fighting, poison psychic. So these two are poison. So if it's following a pattern, then pheasant dippity is going to be poison too. But, Okie Doggy is Poison Fighting and Monkey Dory is Poison Psychic. I don't know if Pheasant Dippity is going to be Poison Flying or if it's going to be like Poison Dark. Poison Ghost, maybe. <clears throat> well, we'll keep Mamma Swine up front. Gee, okay, cool. That was really stupid of the game. Like, seriously, that was pitch black. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> My goo! <laughs> you don't see that, God. Um. <clears throat> Ooh, Icicle Spear. Nice. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, caves in uh, the teal mask are absolutely 
awful. Like, I hate going in these caves. They have little caves everywhere around uh, around the uh, island. Is this an island? Well, they have caves everywhere around the place. And they're very small. And when you walk in, there's just Pokemon everywhere. You can't take one step without being stuck in a battle. And it does the uh, it does a really stupid, annoying thing where your character backs up ten feet. And then when you finish one battle, you're stuck in another battle immediately. That is so annoying. I can't stand going in caves like in this area. They're just so freaking packed with Pokemon. Ugh. Hate it. Medium experience candy, okay. Okay, there you are. Alright, so we're gonna lead with Mammal Swine. If, it, if it's following the conventions of the other two, then it's gonna be poison. I just don't know what the secondary typing's gonna be. There's the one that flies! Pheasantipity! How is it they've all gotten bigger like this, though? Give me a break! Yee? <clears throat> Time to bring this one down, Zack. Yeah. Need to work on your one-liners, they are not good. Well, at least she's gonna paralyze it on first turn, that's cool. yip it pippy Speed row sharply, ooh. Okay, so we're gonna try Ice Shard. If Ice Shard is not super effective, then it's not flying type. No we're enemies, but his face is so pretty. Doesn't it remind you a little of me? No, stop. I'm gonna be the one that deals more damage. You got that. Just who who cares? Play rough. Is it fairy type? Is it poison fairy? Ugh. What are these typings? Like, I think, um... That's gotta be a unique type pairing, then. Because I don't think we've had a Poison Fairy. I don't think we've had a Poison Psychic, either. We've had Poison Fighting because we had, um... Uh, Krogunk and Toxicroak. Super effective. Okay. I can count on my best grunt. Uh, I mean, friend. Mighty Anna. Stop! <clears throat> you are terrible. Again, I thought Blueberry Academy was supposed to be about, like, making good trainers. I thought they were supposed to be, like, the Obelisk Blue uh, Academy. Everybody's supposed to be good trainers. You are awful. It's done nothing but use fairy type moves, and what do you do? You send out another dark type. Toxic chain. Cool, and I'm poisoned for no reason. I knew I should have freaking terrestrialized. Oh, I couldn't terrestrialize, could I? Because I already used it. <clears throat> Mammal Swine was hurt by its poisoning. Okay, send out Sinistra. Okay. Hospitality, restore some of my HP. Oh, I can Terrasolite. Well, there's no point now. I'm already poisoned. I know, I guess I could to uh, resist its uh, Dazzling Gleam instead of it being normal. Normal, neutral. There we go. Okay, Shadow Ball. Okay, that was neutral. So it's not poison it's not poison ghost or poison dark. So I guess it has to be poison fairy. Oh my speed rose. 
neat. <clears throat> I am gonna drop a full restore. Just because the poison is kind of annoying and I a little bit low on HP. Pheasantipity couldn't move because it was paralyzed. Good. But, yeah, these are really weird typings. <clears throat> All three of them are poison and everything. Jeez. Dazzling Gleam again. Not very effective on Mammal Swine. Sinistra Fainted. Swadloon. You have a Swadloon. You didn't even evolve it into a Levani. You have a Swadloon. Ugh. And Pheasantipity couldn't move because it was paralyzed. Trailblaze. Not very effective. No, no, because it's poison. Ugh. Well, I guess we know if we have to fight Carmen, just <laughs> just use Pheasantipity apparently because it's Poison Fairy, right? It's gotta be. I'm gonna check when we're done with this. It's gotta be Poison uh, Fairy. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Sorry, I took a drink of water. <gasps> I nearly drowned. Uh. We're like the ogre and its masks. We help bring out each other's full power. And there it is! We got the last mask! Last... last mask. <coughs> on you! Congratulations, Ogre Pond, and good work, Zack. We got all the masks. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh. I'm definitely gonna add this thing to my team. Thank goodness, it all worked out, right, Ogre Pond? Zack, sis! Huh? Kiki, what's up? <clears throat> well, uh, I... I wanted to ask a favor. I wanted you to come with the village and, uh, bring Ogre Pond with you. Are you sure it's safe? You gotta trust me. It'll be okay, I promise. That That's all I wanted to ask. Just come. Phrasing. I wonder what's gotten into him. Everyone in the village think, uh, thinks that Ogre Pond's a menace, right? I hope he knows what he's doing. Pawn? But he did have a confident look in his eyes. Let's trust Kiki and head to the village. If things go south, I'll use my natural charm to smooth things over. Alright, so is it going to be like, Oh, we are so sorry, Ogre Pond. We love you. Is that what it's going to be like? Yeah. Yep. Fly to the community center. Also, I do like how in modern Pokemon games, uh, towns feel more like actual towns. Because you get something like Pallet Town, and there's only, what, two houses in a Pokemon lab? That's not a town. That's barely even a settlement. Grrr. Eesh. You really don't want to be here, do you? D don't worry. It'll be fine. Kiki, what's all this about, really? I I know you must be scared, Ogre Pond, but I did my best. So just trust me and come with me, okay? Hmm. Are we gonna get Akbard? Is it a trap? So that's the ogre, Ogre Pond. It's actually real. Hey, don't worry. 
Oh, God, I forgot the voice I did for him. It's been a couple of days. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogre Pond, whom we've so wrongly, so sorely wronged. For far too long, we've told tales casting you as the villain here in Kitakami. We all owe you a great apology. Pony? Hey, what's going on? Why the sudden about face? Kieran's been running around the whole village telling everyone the true story of what happened. I was worried he'd stir up a lot of resentment, so I told him to stop, but... We're so sorry, dear Ogre! Ogre Pond's so cute! Yes, it is. Seems that I was wrong to worry so much. Who knew Kiki had it in him? Especially since the old, uh, the grandpa and the caretaker sound the exact same. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't need to hide your face when you do. Oh my god, I love it. The three masks we kept at Kitakami Hall rightfully belong to you all along. If you've managed to get them back from those three villains, please feel, wel uh, feel welcome to keep them. So, wait. For hundreds and hundreds of years, this village has been told the same story. That Ogre Pond was a villain. That it killed the three village guardians or whatever. And these people are just like, Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that, that was wrong. Yeah. If only that was that simple in real life. Now that's what I call a happy ending. One last thing to do. Let's escort Ogre Pond back to its home. Yay. Oh. Oh, he don't want to. <laughs> oh, what are you doing up there? <laughs> Did you guys ever see that video of uh of uh that husky that that's like uh stuck on the roof or whatever? Like the guy pulls uh pulls in his driveway uh from running errands or going from work or whatever and he just sees this husky on the roof of his house and he's just yelling how did you get up there get down uh, all right escort ogre pond back to the den <laughs> cannot speak properly Okay. Back to the den. Alright, I already know how this is going to go down. Kieran's going to be like, Zack, fight me! Because I want Ogre Pond. I'm going to force my love upon it. And it's going to be mine. And, uh... No, he's going to fight me. And I'm going to beat him. Because it's Kieran. And I'm going to be able to catch Ogre Pond. Ooh, flamethrower, that's a pretty good TM. Um, I am a little disappointed with Blood Moon's uh, move pool. Because uh, regular Ursa Ring uh, uh, gets a lot of pretty decent uh, special attacks that I'm pretty sure regular Ursa Luna can get too. But for whatever reason, for Blood Moon, they just kind of skipped out on a lot of its uh, coverage. Which, you know, I, I get. I'm It's a, ta a special attack stat is monstrous. But if you can have broken legendaries with huge special attack stats, why not have a broken, like, non-legendary with good coverage? Alright. <clears throat> Let's see if this is going to go down like I said it would. Kieran's going to be like, fight me. Well, here we are. Paul. It's a bit lonely out here, but I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Take care, okay, Ogre Pond? Paul? Pono! 
Do you want to come with me? Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you. Pon, po pon. <laughs> I want you to come with me too, you little cutie pie. Hey, hold up. Yep, here we go. <clears throat> if it's not gonna stay here, then I, I wanna, I want Ogre Pond to come with me. Kiki. I know I'm being real selfish. Yes, you are. But Zack, please, let me battle you. I want to see which one of us should get to keep Ogre Pond with them. Hey, Kiki, I know you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand. But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings too. Pong? I... I want to battle anyway. So let me know once you're ready. Alright, should I change my team up at all? Nah, it's Kieran. I'm gonna lead with Arcanine, though. You ready to battle? Yeah. Let's do this. Well then, let's get started. Yeah, let's. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. So don't, don't you dare hold back. Oh, I won't. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Kieran. Shift Tree. Okay. We got Arcanine. I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogre Pond, but I. I. Yeah. There's no I, I about it. <clears throat> Just because you like the thing doesn't mean you are entitled to have it. See, like, this is always what's weird about Pokemon. Because you're not holding back, thank you, but I won't hold back either. That's cute. But, um, anyway, the, like, what's weird about Pokemon is that in a lot of the media, <clears throat> excuse me, they're portrayed as, like, intelligent, sentient creatures. Like, Ogre Pond is fully able to understand what we what we say to it. And... This kid's like, No! I'm gonna take you! You're gonna be mine! So... Yeah, you are enslaving it. The thing wants to be with me. Okay, it wants to be with the player. Not with Kira. So, I think... That's where a lot of, um, like, like I, was, I was, I was scrolling through Reddit, I didn't really read a whole lot for, like, spoilers and stuff, but people are talking about Kieran a lot, uh, and, and Carmen too, but to a lesser degree. So I think a lot of it has to do with this situation right here. Like, like I don't know. These these kids, uh, they they feel like real kids. You know, like you can tell that Carmen has been a bully to Kieran. Like she even has that throwaway line, or not throwaway line, but she even has the line, "I didn't even hit him." So you can tell that. I'm sorry, I'm just moving something. You can tell that you know she she's bullied him before. Just from that line. And, um... <clears throat> the way he defends her actions, like, Oh, well, she's not all that bad once you get to know her. That's, um... Oh, Ice Punch. Oh, ouch. Ouchies. Um... Like, that that's what people that are abused say. About their abusers. They're not so bad. 
you know, it's just, it, they're having an off day. You know, stuff like that. Which, by the way, if you are in a, a really bad relationship, and you are being abused physically, mentally, verbally, just try to get help. I, I know it may not be easy, but just try to get help. Nobody deserves to be put in that situation. Some people honestly do it without realizing, but be open, be honest, because as people, that's like the biggest thing, is, is just, we need communication. We need to convey our feelings to each other, and that doesn't happen. Uh, I should have tear, uh, tear it into bug, but yeah, there there's a disconnect in people. And people don't communicate effectively. And it's it's sad, because I think the world would be a much better place if people could communicate better. Like, this whole situation is just down to communication. We kept the secret uh, from Kieran. So, that sucks. However, if you think about this... Carmen and the Grandpa chose to keep this a secret. They didn't want Kieran to know for a reason. And it was probably because they thought something like this would happen. Where he's so obsessed with Ogre Pond that he's going to do anything he can to get ownership of it. So... I don't know. Like, we've only known these characters for, what, like a day or two at this point? So, I don't know. I think... I think I think Kieran's just being a kid. He was just... He was just... Bullied and the outcast. And... And it built up and it snapped and he's... And he's doing this. I'm not excusing it. I'm not saying, you know, it's okay to lash out and try to hurt others because you've been hurt. It's not. And why the heck did I get so philosophical in this? I, 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 it's Pokemon. <laughs> but... But, um... I don't know. I can kind of... What I'm trying to say is I can kind of empathize and I can see where he's coming from. And, um, that's another thing I think the world would be a better place with, is more empathy. Just try to empathize with people more. Okay, special attack fell. Syrup Bomb. Blech. But, um... Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I talked at length about a fictional teenage boy. Like, acting out and lashing out. <clears throat> so I guess that means it's a good character. <laughs> Pokemon, good job. But... I don't know. I don't know. What I, originally, I guess what I was saying is that Kieran just rubbed people the wrong way, from from what I've from what I've gathered. <clears throat> okay, and he's gonna end it with Yawn Mega. Well, we have an Arcanine. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's just. He, he was bullied, and he feels entitled to Ogre Pond, and he's lashing out because of it. And I think people don't really like that. Which, you know, I agree. It's, it's, it's not really cool. Figures. 
but I don't know. Just straight up calling him a brat, I don't think is right. Um, there, there are complex nuances to this character. Uh, same with Carmen. Like, when you first meet Carmen, she's very rude and abrasive, but she opens up to you. She doesn't, she doesn't know how to communicate properly. Again, back to that. She doesn't know how to be around people or how to talk to people. And that, and that's how that manifests. I knew I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. Bone? I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond, Zack. Yeah. Oh, back to, like, the enslaving thing. Um, I think more recently, they've been uh, trying to push the narrative that... When you battle a Pokemon, it's testing you to see whether or not you would be a good trainer for the Pokemon, and that's what battles are. Um, like, in the new Pokemon anime, Pokemon Horizons, that's going on right now, they, 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 they try to spin that as the narrative for the reason behind Pokemon battling. <clears throat> Which is cool, I guess. It, you know, it, it, it leans away from the enslaving this wild creature because you think it's cool and you want to collect it. And then they do stuff like this. Where the ogre, like, ogre pond wants to come with me, but it wants to test me too. That's cool. Ponyo! Ooh. Red mask. Oh my god, it changed colors! That's cool! Alright, Arcanine. Grah! Ponyo! Oh, it's terrestrializing? Oh boy. What is that? That is awesome! It terrestrializes mask? So this is what Ogre Pond's really capable of. Embody aspect. Hearthflame mask raised its attack. Oh, you're a girl! Oh, you are freaking adorable. So not very effective. Okay, yeah, because it's Terra Fire. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, go on to Ursaluna. Ursaluna has Earth Power. Which I'm going to. Plus, Ursaluna has really good defense, so that attack boost isn't gonna... Hopefully not hurt too much. Grassy terrain. Okay. Grass grew to cover the battlefield. Okay. Um, Earth Power. Go. Low Kick. Oh, God. Oh god, no! Okay, that did that did a really good amount. Look at you adapting to Ogre Pond's type. I knew you could handle it. Would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special defense fell. HP was restored, and I restored some of my HP. Um. Well, shoot me in the foot. Let's go out to Sinistra, I guess. Ivy Cudgel. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Shoot. Um. I wish I had Head Smash on Arcanine. <laughs> God. Oh, no. Okay.
Hmm. All right. Memories of adventuring with you grant Poker Pond strength. You are filled with determination. Okay, so is it water type now? <coughs> yes, water type. It's gotta be. <coughs> Wellspring mask. Special defense rose. <coughs> Jeez. Again, so sorry. Ivy cudgel. Not very effective. Okay, now that one looked like a water type move. So, okay. So the masks change its type. And that looks like it's special move. So I guess the special move changes type with it? If so, that's pretty cool. Yep, not very effective. Okay. So Dream Punch. Get a bunch of our HP back. Ogre Pond had its energy drained. The grass disappeared from the battlefield. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Clangorous Soul. Okay, yep, she's, she's putting down grassy terrain again. Grass grew to cover the battlefield. I do wish for something like that, where all of your stats increase. <clears throat> I wish um, it wouldn't just do the one by one, attack rows, defense rows, special attack rows. Because that just eats away so much time, especially in the raids. Just say all of the stats rows, or some stats rows. People know what stats got raised. Working together to retrieve the ma uh, masks grants over pond strength. Okay, so what is this one? I said something about stone, right? So this is gonna this has gotta be a rock type one. And defense rose, okay. Okay, I still have all my buffs. She only has the defense buff, okay. <clears throat> Oh, he one-shot it. It's a crit! You really are good, Zack. I'm no match. Alright. Memories of a partner from long, long ago. Grant Ogre Pond strength. Okay, there's the teal mask. I think this is cool. It shows off um, shows off its gimmick really well. Oh look, and it's got like horns coming out and stuff. Ogre Pond Speed Rose. Okay, so I think this one it well obviously it's gonna be grass type. <clears throat> so Ivy Cudgel. Man, if I knew this, I would have just led with Kamo'o. Kamo'o was, like, perfect for this. Can't catch it yet. You need to show Ogre Pond more of what you can do. Yeah, I need to beat it. Ugh. There we go. I think that's everything Ogre Pond's got. Now's your chance to catch it. 
I'm gonna put her in a luxury ball. She gonna be my new best friend. And I think for the second DLC, we go to Blueberry Academy, right? So that means Kieran and Carmen are going to be there. So that just gives me an opportunity to beat Car uh, Kieran with his favorite Pokemon. This Pokemon's type changes based on which mask it's wearing. It confounds its enemies with nimble movements and kicks. Uh, Alright. Uh, lonely nature. Oh, that seems legit. Uh... <laughs> Defiant. Ooh! Great ability. I'm gonna swap Sinistra out. Alright. Argapon entrusted you with the corner Cornerstone Mask, Wellspring Mask, and Hearth Flame Mask. Put the masks in your bag's other items pocket. Nice. Hey, well done, Zack. That was pretty impressive. Con Congratulations. I'll take good care of it. Yeah. Why why can't I be like you, Zack? <laughs> He's crying. Ugh. I hate when he gets like that. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. Come on, let's head home. Yeah. The next day. Hey Zach, good morning. I've got a message from Carmen. She says you're uh, she's waiting for you at Loyalty Plaza, and they should hurry up and meet her there. Say, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? I don't use you. She uses you. That's your fault. All right. So we're going to wrap this episode up here. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I think this will be the last episode I put out for this DLC. Um, I might do one more where I go out and uh, catch the Loyal Three. Because obviously you can catch them. So I might do one more and do that. I'm not sure. But uh, overall... Not bad, I just wish there was more to it. Because I think the Isle of Armor had more stuff. Like, the Isle of Armor felt bigger. And... Yeah, it only had, like, one thing to do there, too. But they filled it up with some things on the side to do, like finding the Diglets And, uh... I guess that was about it. <laughs> but still, it felt bigger than this. So that's a little disappointing. But it wasn't terrible. Um, there's still some performance issues. They're still stuttering every once in a while. Raids still suck. Um, I really wish they kept the, the turn-based... Uh, turn-based style from Sword and Shield instead of this timer-based because say what you want to about Sword and Shield, at least the raids worked. You know, they had some issues too, like desync and stuff like that, but it wasn't as much of a crap show as this. Like, like these raids. And, um... That's besides the point. I was talking about the DLC. Uh, <laughs> overall, not bad. Um, Kieran and Carmen were interesting characters. Not really my favorite characters, but they are interesting. Um, 
I wish they added more new Pokemon. Because having a Pokedex of 200 Pokemon, and then half of that Pokedex being stuff from the base game, that was disappointing. And only having, what, five, six, maybe seven new Pokemon added, uh, in including new forms, that's also disappointing. But... It wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time with it. Um, I had some fun with it. And uh, with that, I will leave you guys and see you in the next one. Bye.